so when quarantine started, when Broadway shut down, I was in Florida filming a TV show. So I didn't have the normal March 11th last show. I was supposed to come back the next week from filming. I had my last show in February. So I had a lot of things at the theater that I needed to uh, oh. get. And at the time when I drove in to do it, I thought, you know, it would just be a couple months, <laughs> but it was still things that I, that I wanted. So I drove in and that was fine, but there's something so special now, I would say, about that everyday uh, commute and the community that you feel mm -hmm. on New Jersey Transit or on the subway that, you know, I feel like the subway unites all of the New Yorkers and, you know, even those crammed subway cars that everybody hates during you know, really hectic travel hours. It's I um I know you said sparkling water. Do you have a soda stream? I asked for one years ago and got one, and I was so into it. And then, with a lot of things, I just stopped. And so now I'm lazy, and I just buy it. I think we go through seasons with the um with the soda stream, but definitely quarantine has been the season of the soda stream. We got it out. We're using it all the time. I have three empty canisters at the moment and have to figure out how to get more from Bed Bath & Beyond, which is now offering curbside service. So I might have to go do a little exchange, but I've gotten really into making different sparkling water concoctions with frozen fruits and fruit juices and mint and rosemary. And so that's been a silly fun thing too. To do, like when it gets hot is to freeze berries and then use that instead of ice so that I'm not watering down my drink. And then I get that, you know. You have to try, if you're into black cherries, I get this massive bag of frozen black cherries from Costco and it's my go-to ice cube and sparkling water. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check that out. So my hope is that our community can come back. That's my dog, Buddy. Oh, you know which dog it is? Oh yeah. Because one's 45 pounds and one is 15 pounds, so they sound very different. Um, but he's really sweet. Buddy, come on, buddy. <laughs> I hope when the time comes that people do rush back into Broadway theaters and, oh man, that first time that I get to come down in the bubble and say, it's good to see me, isn't it? <laughs> I think that will, uh, that will be a really, really beautiful, moving, moment for everyone on stage and hopefully off stage too. But I mean, all these Broadway shows are families and it feels like, you know, having these families momentarily ripped apart. So I think it's gonna be like an epic family reunion. And yeah, this is temporary and we'll be back. <laughs>